Last week, the capital Juba was filled with jubilation as thousands of South Sudanese celebrated a new era of peace between the two protagonists. And me, all my life, since I was a child, I've uh, yearned for an uh, independent country, and I was lucky to be one of the people who really witnessed the final work. Aria, in August, President Museven and his South Sudanese counterpart, Omar Arbashi, witnessed the signing of the peace agreement between the warring leaders. This achievement, according to the lawmakers of the East African Legislative Assembly, is a milestone for political stability and economic development in the East African region. This is an opportunity for the people of East Africa, not just the people of South Sudan. Uganda's representative George Odong moved a motion to congratulate the Republic of South Sudan for signing the peace accord. The most celebrated generals are not those that win violent battles, but those by whose actions violence is avoided. That after fighting for so many years and even achieving a country, the newest country within the UN system, that we are divided because of colonialists. Colonialists left us over 50 years ago. We should not cry anymore. President Museveni and Bashir were applauded for their efforts in brokering peace. President Museveni and President Omar Bashir, who are so instrumental to the peace, because they really have to work hard to get these brothers to agree. We are so tired, so sick of seeing America involved in mediating peace on our continent. The chairman of this community have really stood very firm that it is because Tanzania got independence and the educated people like him save it, eh? and the founder of SPLA. South Sudan MPs at the Legislative Assembly are optimistic that the leaders will not break their promises and have called on them to respect the agreement. That has happened before. What they really are aspiring for is a country that is peaceful and where all can stand tall without humiliation and proudly enjoy their hard and freedom. Meanwhile, women lawyers of FIDA Uganda, who won the female genital mutilation bill assented to, could soon have a reason to smile after the African European Parliamentarians Initiative offered its support. FGM um, and uh, you know the place of women in politics which I think is important, but I think it's also important that the people that are going to do that job know what they're doing. Johnny Corey signed a memorandum of understanding with the Yellow Speaker Martin Ngoga in Arusha, Tanzania. The program will be effected between 2019 and 2022. Jingo Francis, NTV in Arusha.